feel stuck, like you've been in the same place, at the same level, doing the same thing for a billion years. Okay, a billion years is an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. Do you know that you need to pivot, but you're not sure where, like what do you pivot into and you're not sure if this is a good time, especially now. I'm Deborah from Hashtag Deb Talk, and I want to talk with you about a topic that may seem unimportant to some folks, but I 100% believe that it's vital. And that topic is personal growth. For some folks, there may be this idea that personal growth is one of those nice to do things if you have time. But I 100% again believe that personal growth is vital and that it actually fuels every other type of growth. It fuels professional growth, it fuels your growth in terms of your relationships, your skill set, your knowledge, your character, and so much more. I want to share a quote with you from John Maxwell's book, The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. He got to a place in his career where he was trying to figure out how do I, how, how do I become successful? What is it that I need to do to get to where I need to go, where I want to go? And so he says, when I started my career, I was intentional about working, reaching my goals, and being successful. I had a strategy, hard work. I hoped that would get me where I wanted to go. But working hard doesn't guarantee success. And hope is not a strategy. Every time I think about that last line, it actually makes me chuckle a bit because so many of us you know walk around with this idea that wanting and desiring and hoping for something is actually gonna make it happen hope is not a strategy and so his conclusion is that he needed to have a plan a plan for personal growth so that he could get to get from where he was to where he wanted to be I just completed the first session of a course I created called Reset 2020. It's actually based on John Maxwell's book, The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. And I shared a thought with my first class uh, in, in this first session. And I wanna share that thought with you. I believe that it will help and that it will benefit and that it will build you up. Now, many of us go through some kind of educational system. That could be university, it could be college, a community college of some kind, it could be technical school or some kind of vocational school. And when we go through those systems, what happens is that they teach us about the specific area that we're interested in, the area that we want to become experts in. They create paths based on the major that we've chosen or the area that we want to specialize in. And those paths have different courses along the way. So they organize the different courses and from semester to semester, we have different courses that build on what we learned initially and deepen our knowledge of that particular thing. So they move us from semester to semester, they move us from year to year, and they move us to the place or to the point of graduation. So they've created a system that helps us to grow. The deal is, once you graduate, is there still a need for you to improve year after year? Is there still a need for you to keep growing? But there's no more college to make sure that that is happening. And a mistake that a lot of people make is thinking that somehow the companies that they work for is responsible for making them grow. They make the mistake of thinking that it's their HR department or their manager that's responsible for them to grow. And that is absolutely a fallacy. Organizations might invest, you know, many organizations do, they'll invest in the growth of the people that work for them. However, it's only if that growth will impact 
the organization in a positive way or will help the organization reach its goals, which is actually quite smart and it's, we all could take a page out of the books of organizations. The other thing that I want you to think about is the fact that these universities or colleges that we go to, yes, they're teaching us a lot about the area that we want to specialize in, but we need more than that in order to actually thrive and survive in the workplace. There are other skills we need, like how do we interact with people successfully? How do we work on teams? How do we navigate having different types of bosses? At the end of the day, personal growth is vital to us growing in all the other areas and there's never been a more important time for us to grow than now. You know, the different things that I'm about to say to you in terms of statistics are probably not new to you if you've been watching the news. Um, but at this point, in order to survive, many companies have laid off a lot of people and they furloughed others. At this point, 14.7% last time I checked of Americans are now unemployed according to the New York Times. But Forbes actually puts that number higher at about 20% if you include some other factors. 2% of small businesses, according to the Washington Post, and that means 100,000 small businesses have actually permanently closed their doors. And in the restaurant industry, that number is actually higher. It's 3% according to the National Restaurant Association. Now, in a climate like that, the skills and the knowledge that I learned in school about the specific area that I majored in may not be enough to help me or to help you. Because some of the things that you need to learn right now are how do I deal with change and adapt to all that is changing around me? How do I keep up with the future changes so that I can ensure that I'm relevant and that I am aware of the the expertise that is now needed for the climate that we're in? And how do I deepen my awareness and so that I can become more emotionally intelligent so that I can deal with now virtual relationships in a sense? School does not necessarily go into those details and those are the things that we need to learn now. And one might say, that's not their job. Either way, the point is that I need to be equipped in certain ways in order to navigate the current environment that we're in. Um, you know, the thing is that I have to develop and you have to develop the kind of mindset that is pursuing growth and understands the importance of it. And again, that's really part of the reason why I created Reset 2020. So as a quick recap, I want to share number one, that personal growth is vital, that it impacts every other growth. It impacts your faith growth, it impacts your growth in your career, it impacts the growth in your relationship. It is important and it is vital and it impacts all other types of growth. The second thing is that personal growth is your responsibility. Just like you and I have to take ownership of our lives, you have to take ownership of growing. It is not going to come about as a result of your company. Your company is not responsible. HR is not responsible. Your manager is not the responsible party. You are. And the third thing is that you got to have a plan. Because if you don't have some kind of a plan to grow, growth is not going to happen. It was fine in college. You know, and like John Maxwell says, you know, when you're in grade school, yeah, growth seems to be kind of automatic. But as you get to this place, as you get to become an adult or graduate from college or start basically being in the marketplace, growth is not automatic. It is something that you have to have a plan for and you got to work that plan. I hope that you found today's talk helpful, encouraging and beneficial. If you did, please take the time to subscribe to my YouTube channel, to like this video, and to share it with somebody that you believe that it will add value to them. And my parting words, my, my uh, last statement with reference to this is, 
part of why you need to work your plan is that it says, this is a quote by Jim Rohn, which I think is really powerful. It says, if you don't design your own life plan, and in, in our case, like a growth plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan. And guess what they have planned for you? Not much. So I just encourage you to, to grow, to use this opportunity to, to grow through the changes. And I believe 100% as you continue to grow, that you will be able to face the challenges that are ahead. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Please have a wonderful work week. Please stay safe. And until next time.